In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named Spray-Induced Air Motion in Single and Twin Ultra-High Injection Diesel Sprays. The present 3D model is designed using Design Modeler software. The geometry of the model consists of a cylindrical chamber with a special cylindrical fuel injector nozzle on it. As for the mesh, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is a structure. The element number is equal to 675,000. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluence software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button, in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the dist for the temperature changes in our computational domain. After clicking on set button in the appeared window, you can see that the injection type is defined to be single and the particle type is defined to be inert, which means that this particle is not a combustible particle or a droplet. Also, you can see that under the material section, we have selected anthracite material. Now, selecting and adding a new material uh, to the software will be explained in next slide. Uh, under the point properties section, you can see that we have defined the uh, properties of the injection. For example, the z-velocity is equal to minus 821, and the, the diameter of each particle is equal to 16 micrometer. Now, about the z-velocity, as was mentioned in the earlier slides, we have defined and extracted this z-velocity based on the Bernoulli's principle. Under the thermal tab, you can see that heat flux thermal condition with the heat rate of zero is defined, which means that this ball is adiabatic. Now, if you expand the report definition section, you can see that a report named report definition zero has been defined. If you double click on it, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the output quantity section, you can see that a penetration length output has been defined for the set of injections we had defined before. Now this report will be used in order to validate our CFD simulation results with the paper. Now in this contour you can easily see the velocity distribution in our computational domain. Also you can easily see the section where the particles are injected in our computational domain and how it has an increased velocity in comparison to other sections. Another variable contour, under the contours of section, you just have to change your desired variable. For example, we have selected temperature in this slide. After that, just like the previous slide, we define our surfaces we want to see our contours on, and after that, please click on save or display button. Now in this slide, you can easily see the temperature distribution in our computational domain. Also, in order to extract the particle tracks, uh, you can easily right click on the particle tracks button and in the appeared window, under the release from injection section, we select the injection zero and after that, by clicking on save or display button, just like the previous slide, the software will give you the particle tracks for this project. In this slide, you can easily see the particle tracks and how they have spread it inside our computational domain. Now, as was mentioned earlier in previous slides about the penetration length report we had defined, when you click on the calculate button and when the software starts solving the problem, it will automatically show you the red line shown in this figure as it continues to solve the problem. As you can see in this slide, we have extracted the figure 2 of the paper, which shows a comparison of simulated and experimental images of spray. Now, in our project, to simulate the spraying process, it is necessary to define a discrete phase flow within a continuous flow. Therefore, the discrete phase model, DPM, is used in the simulation. The behavior of discrete phase particles in the unsteady state is also defined and it, and it is also assumed that the behavior of the particles is affected by the continuous flow. The physical states defined for discrete phase model include a stochastic collision, which means that fuel particles collide with each other, coalescence, which means that the fuel particles combine with each other, and breakup, which means the decay of fuel particles. 
An injection process is also defined to define the fuel injection process. Thus, the fuel flow is injected into the chamber with a flow rate of 14 grams per second, a velocity of 850.23 meter per second, and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. The diameter of fuel particle is considered to be equal to 16 micrometer, and the type of fuel injection into a space is defined as single. The duration of injection process in the time interval is equal to 1 millisecond. And in this slide, we have brought to you the figure where we have validated the RCFT simulation results with the results obtained by the paper. It should also be mentioned that since the present simulation was performed in a time interval of 0.5 milliseconds, the results of the numerical work were compared only in the first 0.5 milliseconds. This simulation was performed at an injection process pressure of 300 megapascals, which according to the Bernoulli's principle, the particle injection rate is considered to be 850.23 meter per second. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.